Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to compile C++ programs on Windows. And unlike JavaScript or other scripting languages, C++ can't just be executed through the source code itself. What we have to do is take the human readable source code and then compile it into machine code, which is binary or 010101 like that, into an executable file that the program that the computer can then run. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to set up um, a C++ compiler on Windows so we can write C++ code and then create executable files from it. So the C++ compiler that we're going to be using is called um, G++ and by default it's not available on Windows but there is a version of it that's been written for Windows and you can get this from this uh, website called WinLibs. And all you want to do is just go down to here and then go for the latest version. GCC and G++ are the same thing by the way. And we do we just want this without one and we want the Win64 one. And you just want to click on the zip archive right here. And you just want to download this somewhere and that will start saving it. And these this file will be quite big because um it contains a bunch of data, so it's like it's essentially basically the compiler as well as a bunch of header files and basic libraries that we need for C programs. So it will take some time to complete and we just have to be a little bit patient. If you want to create a C++ file, all you have to do is just click right click, click new, and we want to just create a text document. C++ source files are just text documents. And we can just change the extension right here to CPP. And the first program we're going to be writing is just a hello world one. Um, so I'm just going to call this hello, hello world like this. And just press yes here. And that's the C++ program right there. And now if you want to edit this, you can just open this up with Notepad or you can open it with another editor. So I'm just going to be using a Visual Studio code here. And this is our C++ program space right here. Now I'm just going to write out a quick program here, but I'm not, and I'm not going to explain this one because the purpose of this video is just about how to compile and run it. So um, just I'll explain all of this in a separate video, but for now I'm just going to write a simple program, and all this program does is it prints this string here, "Hello World," to the terminal or whatever the output is. So that's my C++ program right here. And you just want to wait for this to finish. It's almost finished now. Right, so once this compiler is downloaded, what you want to do is just extract it somewhere. And the place where I'm going to be extracting it is this. Um, uh, you can extract this any way you want, but I'm going to be extracting it to D and then development, this folder right here. And it's called Ming GW64. And you just want to drag this over and that will install the program there. Um, it's important to know that wherever you install it, um, it's ideal if there isn't a space in the if, in the folder path because it can cause some issues if there's spaces. So ideally you want to avoid that. So this one right here has no spaces, so we should be okay. So that's almost ready. So we just have to wait for this. It does take a little while because it is a lot of files. Alright, so now that we have it here, the program that we actually need to be able to compile C, it's in bin, and it's the program called G++ right here, this program right here. And by default, we only have access to it from this folder, because if I open the command prompt right here, and then put, just put G++, it says G++ is not recognized. And the only way to access it right now is by changing directory into this folder. But we're going to add this to our path file. And this path file basically tells it to look here for executable programs. So the way to do that is just press the Windows key and then type env and click on edit environment variables for your account. And then click on path and then click edit right here. And what you want to do is you just want to create a new entry in here. And you want to click browse and then you want to point it to the bin folder of where your g++.exe is, which is there, right there. So it's in development min gw64 and then bin, like this. And once you press OK and then press OK again, then by default Windows will look in that folder for any programs to run. So if I open up command prompt again and then type in g++-v, uh, 
version or something like that. We can see that we have um, G++ installed right here. So now we're ready to compile our C programs. So once we have a C program like this that we wish to compile, and remember that this is in desktop, what you want to do is just navigate your command prompt to that folder. And once you're in here, what you want to do is say gcc.exe. Remember that we have access to this now. Sorry, not gcc, g++.exe. And then you want to type in dash o, and dash o basically means output. And that's basically the file that you want to um, compile this into. And I'm just going to call this hello world.exe. And I'm using the extension.exe because this is a Windows, and Windows executables have the extension.exe. And then after that, just put a space and then just put the name of your C++ file. So I'm just going to put hello world.cpp like this. And then when you press enter, G++ will then compile this C++ source code into an executable file. And um, if we look now, we have this hello world.exe right here. And you can just double click on and open it to run, but it will just close out straight away. And that's because it will be finished straight away. But a better way to run this would be from the command prompt itself. So we can just do hello world.exe like this. And we can see that the hello world right here has been printed, which is exactly what this program does. So yeah, that's how you um, set up your Windows operating system for compiling and executing C++ programs.